Introduction As human population of our country is increasing, in addition to increase in crop production, we also need to increase animal production to meet out the demand of milk, eggs and meat. Therefore, it is necessary to increase our production efficiency for livestock. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Understand animal husbandry, study cattle farming, understand poultry farming, study the egg and broiler production, understand the fish production, marine fisheries, inland fisheries, study the beekeeping, animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the scientific management of animal livestock which includes feeding, breeding and disease control. Animal-based farming includes cattle, goat, sheep, poultry and fish farming. As the population and as living standards increase, the demand for milk, eggs and meat also goes up. In addition, the growing awareness of the need for humane treatment of livestock has brought in new limitations in improved livestock farming. Cattle Farming Cattle husbandry is done for two purposes. Milk and drought labor for agricultural work such as tilling, irrigation and carting. Indian cattle belong to two different species. Boss indicus, cows, and Boss bibalis, buffaloes. Milk producing females are called milch animals, dairy animals, while the ones used for farm labor are called drought animals. Milk production depends to some extent on the duration of the lactation period, meaning the period of milk production after the birth of a calf. So, milk production can be increased by increasing the lactation period. Exotic or foreign breeds, for example, Jersey, Brown Swiss, are selected for long lactation periods, while local breeds, for example, Red Sinthi, Sahiwal, show excellent resistance to diseases. The two are crossbred to get both the desired qualities. Proper cleaning and shelter facilities for cows and buffaloes are required for humane farming, for the health of the animals and for production of clean milk as well. Animals require regular brushing to remove dirt and loose hair. They should be sheltered under well-ventilated roofed sheds that protect them from rain, heat and cold. The floor of the cattle shed needs to be sloping so as to stay dry and to facilitate cleaning. The food requirements of dairy animals are of two types. Maintenance requirement, which is the food required to support the animal to live a healthy life and requirement for milk production, which is the type of food required during the lactation period. Animal feed includes roughage, which is largely fiber and concentrates, which are low in fiber and contain relatively high levels of proteins and other nutrients. Cattle suffer from number of diseases. The diseases besides causing death reduce milk production. The parasites of cattle may be both external parasites and internal parasites. The external parasites live on the skin and mainly cause skin diseases. The internal parasites like worms affect stomach and intestine while flukes damage the liver. Infectious diseases are also caused by bacteria and viruses. Vaccinations are given to farm animals against many major viral and bacterial diseases. Drag and drop the correct option. Poultry farming. Poultry farming is undertaken to raise domestic fowl for egg production and chicken meat. New improved varieties are developed by the cross-breeding between Indian, indigenous, Asil and foreign exotic leghorn breeds. It is done for the following desirable traits. Number and quality of chicks. Dwarf broiler parent for commercial chick production. Summer adaptation capacity 
tolerance to high temperature, low maintenance requirements, reduction in the size of the egg-laying bird with ability to utilize more fibrous, cheaper diets formulated using agricultural byproducts, egg and broiler production. Broiler chickens are fed with vitamin-rich supplementary feed for good growth. They are produced as broilers and sent to market for meat purposes. For good production of poultry birds, good management practices include maintenance of temperature and hygienic conditions in housing and poultry feed as well as prevention and control of diseases and pests. The housing, nutritional and environmental requirements of broilers are somewhat different from those of egg layers. The ration daily food requirement for broilers is protein rich with adequate fat. The level of vitamins A and K is kept high in the poultry feeds. Poultry fowl suffer from a number of diseases caused by virus, bacteria, fungi, parasites as well as due to nutritional deficiency. There is need of proper cleaning, sanitation and spraying of disinfectants at regular intervals. Vaccination can prevent the infectious diseases. Fish Production Cheapest source of animal protein for our food is fish. Fish production includes the faint true fish as well as shellfish such as prawns and mollusks. Fish can be obtained either from natural resources, which is called capture fishing, or by fish farming, this is called culture fishery. Marine fisheries. India's marine fishery resources include 7,500 km of coastline and the deep seas beyond it. Popular marine fish varieties are pomfret, mackerel, tuna, sardines, and Bombay duck. Marine fish are caught using many kinds of fishing nets from fishing boats. Some economic marine fishes are finned fishes like mullets, betki, and pearl spots, shellfish such as prawns, mussels, and oysters as well as seaweed. Oysters are also cultivated for the pearls they make. The demand for marine fish can be met by mariculture. Inland fisheries. Fresh water resources include canals, ponds, reservoirs and rivers. Brackish water resources where seawater and fresh water mix together such as estuaries and lagoons are also important fish reservoirs. Aquaculture is capturing fishes in inland water bodies. Fish culture is sometimes done in combination with a rice crop so that fish are grown in the water in the paddy field. More intensive fish farming can be done in composite fish culture systems. Both local and imported fish species are used in such systems. Some common examples of fresh water fishes are katla, silver carp, rohu, grass carp, mrigal and common carp. Beekeeping Honey is widely used and therefore beekeeping for making honey has become an agricultural enterprise. Since beekeeping needs low investments, farmers use it as an additional income source. In addition to honey, the beehives are a source of wax which is used in various medicinal preparations. The local varieties of bees used for commercial honey production are Apis carina indica, commonly known as the Indian bee, A. dorsata, the rock bee, and A. flori, the little bee. An Italian bee variety, A. mellifera, has also been brought in to increase yield of honey. The Italian bees have high honey collection capacity. They sting somewhat less. They stay in a given beehive for long periods and breed very well. Apiaries are established for commercial honey production. The value or quality of honey depends on the pasturage or the flowers available to the bees for nectar and pollen collection. Assessment 
Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learnt. Match the following. Drag and drop the correct option. Did you know, Dr. V. Kurian was the founder chairman of National Dairy Development Board, NDDB. He started Operation Flood in 1970. Super ovulation is stimulation of healthy cow by injecting reproductive hormones to release more ova from its ovaries. Vegetarian eggs are infertile eggs. Silver revolution is rapid increase in egg production. Super seizure is replacement of old queen bee by a new queen bee in an apiary to increase the efficiency of egg laying. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Farm animals require proper care and management such as shelter, feeding, breeding and disease control. This is called animal husbandry. Poultry farming is done to raise domestic foals. Poultry production includes egg production and broiler production for poultry meat. To enhance poultry production, cross-breeding is done between Indian and exotic breeds for variety improvement. Fish may be obtained from marine resources as well as inland resources. To increase production of fish, they can be cultured in marine and inland ecosystems. Marine fish capture is done by fishing nets guided by echo sounders and satellites. Composite fish culture system is commonly used for fish farming. Beekeeping is done to get honey and wax.